Chat GPT is taking over. I think we're really at the beginning of, of reckoning with this. What is education going to be like if people don't need to write for their jobs? It took ChatGPT five days to get to a million users. In December 2015, a research institute was founded in Silicon Valley with a goal of providing humanity with a general artificial intelligence. We are talking about OpenAI, and this video is all about the story and the company behind it. The real goal of OpenAI, the risks and the criticism. Mark my words. AI is far more dangerous than nukes. OpenAI was founded in 2015 in San Francisco, California. For this mission, the Avengers of Silicon Valley came together and founded OpenAI. The most well-known amongst them, without a doubt, real-life Iron Man, Elon Musk. Entrepreneur, billionaire, and whatever on Twitter at the moment. Sam Altman is also a co-founder and plays an important role as a chairman. He's a big supporter of artificial intelligence and universal basic income and believes that AI has the potential to change the way we live and work. Many other leading experts in the field of machine learning, like Greg Brockman, Stripe's former CTO, and Iliad Stutzgiver are also on board. Stutzgiver is one of the authors of the AlphaGo papers, a computer program that mastered the most complex strategy game in the world called Go. AlphaGo has beaten the world's best professional Go player in the world and has set a remarkable benchmark at the time. So the leading names in the industry came together and funded a whopping one billion US dollars in startup capital collectively. But also, other big names and institutions in the tech world like Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, and Peter Thiel invested in the project as well. OpenAI was founded as a non-profit organization with a goal to advance digital intelligence in the way that is most likely to advance humanity as a whole, unconstrained by a need to generate financial returns. An honorable thesis that has essentially been true to this date. However, bit by bit, it is beginning to crumble, at least when the financial aspect OpenAI communicates its research results primarily via its own blog. Of course, individual researchers also produce scientific papers, but let's be honest, the general public doesn't really read them. The blogs contain precisely written articles addressed to the general public that break down the current results to a few paragraphs of text. In 2016, OpenAI developed a toolkit called, called OpenAI Gym to assist developers in enhancing their reinforcement learning algorithms. Reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to make decisions by interacting with its environment and receiving rewards or penalties for its actions. In 2017, OpenAI released a bot that was able to play the game Dota 2 independently and beat some of the best human players at the time showcasing the capabilities of AI in understanding and making strategic decisions in another complex game. Two thousand eighteen was a significant year for OpenAI, first of all because of the publication of the OpenAI Charter, outlining its values and principles for the development of artificial intelligence, including a commitment to use any influence on AGI for the benefit of all and avoiding causing harm in any circumstances. The Charter also emphasized the importance of security in AGI research. OpenAI is concerned that the late stage in the race for general artificial intelligence could become a competitive race without proper security measures. If another institute is about to make a breakthrough before OpenAI, AI would like to support the project and not start a competition. OpenAI always has to be up to date with the possibilities of AI to successfully address the influence of general artificial intelligence. The Institute would also like to cooperate with other research laboratories and work together on solutions. The Charter is a step towards transparency for the outside world. 
We'll see later in the video to what extent this charter comes true. However, 2018 also marked a change in leadership at OpenAI, as co-founder Elon Musk stepped down from the management due to potential conflicts of interest with his roles as CEO of SpaceX and Tesla. In June 2017, there was already a competition for hiring talented researchers. Tesla hired a well-known AI researcher named Andre Karpathy, who previously worked at OpenAI. Karpathy subsequently became Director of AI and Autopilot Vision. While leaving, Musk expressed his support for OpenAI's mission and goals. But more recently, he tweeted that he stopped access to the Twitter database as he's skeptical about the organization's claims of being open source and nonprofit. In 2019, OpenAI underwent a significant change in its structure, transitioning from a nonprofit organization to a for profit limited partnership. Here begins the part where Open in OpenAI is no longer quite as open as it was announced in 2015. The decision was made in order to track more investors and funding for research, while also providing an incentive for investment by allowing for a capped profit of 100 times the initial investment. Research in the field of artificial intelligence is very expensive, and tweets of Sam Altman telling that OpenAI needs to monetize the service somehow. The costs of running OpenAI are not publicly disclosed, but as a benchmark, we can look at the pre-tax losses reported by Alphabet's research laboratory, DeepMind, $164 million in 2016, and in 2017, it was even $368 million. However, this newly founded limited partnership is regulated by an umbrella organization, which in turn is nonprofit. So the management of the company should be free of influence of capital. Well, that's the plan at least. A few months after restructuring, Microsoft invested $1 billion in OpenAI. So with Microsoft investing $1 billion US dollars, a maximum of only $1 billion US dollars are allowed to be generated from it. Some OpenAI technologies are also being integrated into Microsoft's offerings such as GitHub, Copilot, a source code auto-completion tool based on OpenAI's Codex model, which can understand natural language and convert it into code in various programming languages. However, Codex was announced in 2021, and that brings us to the next chapter. As OpenAI continues to make breakthroughs in AI research and development, the company has brought new products and services to the market, including the application programming interface in June 2020. There was also an active decision against releasing some OpenAI products as open source, as it can be difficult to run them due to their complexity and computational requirements. Instead, OpenAI released the API as a commercial product, which allows developers to use GPT-2 and later GPT-3 in their own projects. This has enabled companies such as Duolingo to use the API to offer French grammar improvements. In 2021, OpenAI released DAL-E, a text-to-image generator, which attracted a lot of attention and amazed the world with its ability to generate art within seconds. DAL-E uses the GPT-3 language model to generate images from text. It's a powerful tool which can be used for a wide variety of applications, such as creating illustrations for children's books, designing video game characters, or even creating art and design. However, the model is not flawless yet and the quality of the generated images can vary depending on the quality of the input text and the training data used. Third-party users like Lenza recognized the added value and created an easy-to-use app based on DAL-E that made it possible to generate art with uploaded images. A hype broke out in the social media world and Lenza made some bucks off it. Then in 2022 came the next big thing, Chat GPT, a language model that supports conversations and can respond to instructions based on context and follow-up questions. Even at its infancy stage, it was already mind-blowing of how good it actually worked. A lot of people are calling it the next Google, but instead of being just a search engine, it rather should be classified as a personal assistant. It can be helpful in providing information on a specific topic by answering your questions. It can write an essay on this topic or summarize long texts on key statements. 
It is capable of writing a creative and lyrical text, a novel, or poetry. It can even write code for an application you want to create in a preferred coding language and gives you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to program it. From an end consumer perspective, it is no surprise to be completely thrilled about the company. But as good as OpenAI is in the field of artificial intelligence with its cutting-edge technology, there are concerns about its business practices. According to a very good article of MIT Technology Reviews by Karen Ho, there is a discrepancy between what OpenAI publicly states and its actual operations behind closed doors. The company's restructuring has led to an increased pressure to make money with AI. In a world full of profit orientation, OpenAI set an example by being a non-profit and open source at the beginning. But since the limited partnership, the atmosphere at OpenAI has been completely different. It is said that they sold their soul. While research must be financed, there is now pressure from investors to see results as well. There has been a shift from transparency to secrecy in order to develop the best possible AGI. Economic success is gaining popularity over transparency, as some research results are considered a competitive advantage. Employees are not allowed to speak about certain topics and have to sign NDAs when they leave the company. Do you remember the charter that competitive situations should be avoided? This opinion is apparently not held as strongly anymore. Creating AI systems that are both safe and effective is a major challenge. It is important that these systems align with human values, have transparency in their decision-making, and avoid causing harm. OpenAI is one company that has made significant contributions in this field and is expected to continue making advancements, although it's not the only player in the industry. However, OpenAI is a company which has to bow to the power of capital, though efforts are made to minimize its impact. Maintaining independent research at that high level and pace seems to be a very difficult task.